What is going on Diablo 2 fans? Dabrunski here and today I'm going to be identifying the loot from 10,000 pit runs. Yes, you heard me correctly, 10,000, not 1,000, so it's a pretty epic Diablo 2 RNG identification video. I will have timestamps in the description below, so if you want to navigate from sections like unique jewelry, the facets, set items, unique items, etc. They're there for you guys to use, so please take advantage of them. Also, a quick reminder before we jump into this video, if you guys do enjoy my YouTube content, I do stream twice a week on Twitch, a lot of Diablo 2 and of course Diablo 2 Resurrected content on the channel. So any follows on that platform would be very much appreciated. Again, of course, I have a link for my Twitch channel in the description below, Twitch slash to Brunsky125. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoy this video. Let's jump in. So the first thing that I want to do before I start identifying this loot is to give a huge shout out to Crack Plays Diablo. He is a Discord community member from my Diablo 2 server and he submitted me these character files to make this video possible. I did not do these 10,000 runs just being 100% transparent. So huge shout out to you Crack. The work you put in to continue this series I appreciate and I think the community does as well. And I do want to address one thing because I know someone is going to say something in the comment section below. While I cannot prove that these items aren't legit, I also can't prove that they are legit, but I will say that through knowing Crack for a very long time, I know he does these magic finding runs, he's very hardcore about it, he hasn't found Tyrael's Might yet in hardcore, so take that with the fact that I have done entries of this video series before that have had multiple unique sacred armors, and they were all Templar's Might. So if I really wanted to make a hero edited non-legit video I would have made a Tyrael's Might because I have never identified one of these solo so found or through one of these types of community videos so take that with a grain of salt and if you don't think these items are legit anyways you can just enjoy it for being a Diablo 2 loot identification video. But let's just jump into it. Starting off page one these are all of the runes that Crack found over 10,000 runs in hardcore players one difficulty. So three mal runes Excuse me. No, I was right. Three Malvruns, three Istruns, two Gulvruns, three Vex, two Ohm, two Low, two Sewer, two Burr, and one Jaw. So this might seem kind of like a bad rune haul for 10,000 runs, but this was all done on players one difficulty, which really isn't the optimal way to farm runes. So I would say that's a pretty good haul overall. Nothing, no cham or zod rune but two burr runes is pretty nice and technically a third burr rune if you cube up these two sirs so overall pretty solid rune haul jumping into the unique jewelry page there's 50 unique rings and 28 unique amulets so let's start off with the rings first see if we get lucky maybe with some sojs or something first one is a raven frost dwarf star another raven close to perfect on attack rating there Annulled, Dwarf Star, another Raven, Angel Ring, 17 MF, Dwarf Star, Nature's Peace, two Nature's Peace, third one, a fourth one, another Raven Frost, a 14% Lightning Absorb, 20% MF Wisp Projector Ring. That's a solid find. That rolls 10 to 20 Lightning Absorb and 10 to 20% Magic Find. So that's a pretty nice ring. That's a very rare one as well. Nulled. Another Nulled. Nagel. Carrion Wind. Ooh, another Wisp. Really nice one. 17 Light Absorb and 90% MF. So two Wisp Projector Rings are the highlight. All these unique rings so far. Nature's Peace. Angel. Annulled. Another Raven Frost. That's a pretty close to perfect Raven Frost. So rolls to 250 attack rating and 15 to 20 dexterity. So that's close to perfect. The Raven, Nagel Ring. No SOJs or BK Ring so far. Hey, just as I say it. <laughs> A 3% life stolen per hit BK Ring, so that rolls 3 to 5%. It's a really nice ring to use. 
depending on the character. Another Ravenfrost. Annulled. Another Karen Wind. Wow, I kind of feel bad for this ring hole so far. That's a 30 MF Nagel. So perfect on the percent magic find. Kind of unfortunate. Another pretty good solid rolled Ravenfrost. Nature's Peace. And a Dwarf Star. Okay, so two Wisp Projector Rings and a BK Ring are the highlights from 50 unique rings. So that's kind of a little bit disappointing, I would say. I was hoping for maybe like one or two SOJs. Jumping into the amulets, Atma's Scarab. Sarah's Him. It's a really weird amulet. Geared for the Paladin, but nobody really uses it. Nokazon, another Atma's. 29 all res Mara's Kaleidoscope. That is a really solid amulet. One off a perfect for the res. Crescent Moon. Eye of the Etlich. Another Eye of the Etlich. Another Saris Him. Two to Paladin skills. Nokazan. Cat's Eye. Saracen's Chance. Metal Grid. I have never found this unique amulet ever. It's not really that good other than you can use it for melee focused uber Tristan builds. That massive attack rating and all res bonus is nice. Very rare amulet that still eludes me to this day on my Holy Grail. Rising Sun. Another Ceres. Alright, so the highlight from 50 unique rings and 28 unique amulets is one Metal Grid, a nearly perfect Maras, one BK ring, and two solid West Projector rings. So I would say overall, so far, pretty. Pretty poor luck for the jewelry, unfortunately. Next page is the facets. 5-4 poison. 4-5 five, five fire. 4-5 four, fire. Oh, those are really nice. 4-4 four, four light. 4-5 four, poison. 3-4 fire. So far the facets have been pretty good. 3-5 poison. 5-4 five, Poison. 5-5 five, five Poison. Nice. First perfect facet. 3-5 five, five Fire. 5-3 five, Poison. Yep, 5-3 five, Poison. 3-5 five, Fire. A 5-4 five, Lightning. So pretty good. I mean, 13 facets. One is a perfect 5-5 five, five Poison. Put that in a D-Web or something for a Necro. Next up, we have four unique... Or excuse me, four set sacred armors and 11 uh, set coronas. So this is the IK body armor and Griswold's Valor. So there's not really a lot that varies in terms of the rules for these two items. So just showing you guys what they are. I'm not going to identify them all. Four IK body armors and 11 Griswold's Valor helmets. Next up we have, this is the sword that completes the BK set. Again, not a lot of varying rules are too interesting uh, there, so I'm not going to ID them all. Ten total. And then five Nat's Claws. Not going to identify those either, just to show off what they look like, though, for those that might not know. And the same thing, this is the second BK Sword set, so he has six total. So this pairs with the other ten on the other page. And then five Mavina's Diadems. This is a really weird helmet because it's not really that useful other than if you want to do a full Mav set, it's kind of cool. Or if you want to put increased attack speed jewel in it for 45 IS, I think it's the only helmet that can get that other than a magic helmet that has three open sockets. But so five of those, 
jumping into a little bit more of the juicy stuff here. We got one Griswold's Honor Shield and four Grizz Cadiceuses. Now this rolls three to four open sockets. Four is ideal. And the first one is four. And a three. And a four. And a three. That's really good. Like getting four open sockets is top tier for like a Fireclaw Druid. Rare Bear, when you want that crazy increased attack speed, if you put like multiple shale runes in here, you can get over 100 IS. Pretty decent attack rating, or attack damage, so really interesting weapon. But very niche, you need, uh, niche use case, excuse me. And then four or five uh, unique Scourges, excuse me, and two Legendary Mallets. So this can either roll Schaefer's or the other one. I can't even think of it off the top of my head. It's so bad. Uh, I'll probably see right now. Schaefer's hammer. Watch me get two Schaefer's. I forget. I know what the opposite is. I can't think of it off the top of my head. And <laughs> I don't... Uh, stone hammer or something. I forget. Anyways, two Schaefer's hammers. That's a very, very rare find. Unique legendary mallets. And then again, five unique scourges. I really hope this one is an ethereal storm lash. Ethereal storm lash with a Zod rune is a top tier niche very difficult rare item so we'll do it last horizon's tornado horizon's tornado this is kind of like the bummer it's not really that good storm lash very cool non ethereal though okay so four horizons one storm lash for crack let's hope this is an ethereal storm lash and it's an ethereal Horizons Tornado. That is a sucky feeling. I have one of those. Bomber. That could have been really, really amazing. Next up, we have five unique Warpikes and five unique Giant Threshers. So this is Steel Pillar. Storm Spire, so not really gonna identify them all. They're not too crazy or too exciting. That's all that they can roll. Next page, sort of the same thing. Four Gargoyles Bite, one Ghost Flame, and then we have two of the BK Unique Swords. Or sorry, the Grandfather Unique Sword, I don't know why I said BK. Very, very cool old school unique item that a lot of you guys will remember. This one rolled 242 enhanced damage, and this one rolled 151. This is a pretty big damage difference there, 145 to 528 versus 198 to 633. So very, very cool old school like prior to rune word uh, unique item now i have three wind forces here two unique berserker axes one glorious axe and one unique thunder maul let's start off with the thunder maul cranium basher booyah that is a very 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 cool difficult to find unique item it's not really too useful but it is kind of a cool cool find now the only thing that varies in the wind forest is it rolls five to seven or six to eight i think it's six to eight mana leech stolen per hit that's two sevens yeah okay so it's six to eight so two sevens and an eight and this is execution of justice kind of an interesting weapon the chance to cast a grab fight when you kill an enemy i don't know how useful that is and then we have two death cleavers this is a really cool desirable item if you can get it to roll ethereal and then you put a Zodrin in it. Very, very rare. The last two pages here. Three Shadow Dancers. This rolls one to two Shadow Discipline skills. So the first one is a two. Second is one. And another two. So that's pretty solid. And then two Steel Wrens. 37 enhanced damage and 39 enhanced damage. So kind of a cool... Interesting use case glove, very high strength requirements, so it's not typically used on too many builds. And the final page here is sorry, one of the final three pages here. Five unique diadems, Griffin's eye here. Three of them are ethereal, unfortunately. And then three unique chronos, so crown of ages. This rolls one to two open sockets, so this should be interesting. First one, minus 15 plus 14. That's a pretty bad roll. Next one, minus 15 plus 12. So both 
kind of poor, poorly rolled Griffin's eyes. And of course, the ethereal rolls minus 20, minus 19, and minus 20. Woo! Those are almost identical, just the difference is enhanced defense. For those that don't know, minus enemy lightning res is the most valuable stat on this uh, diadem. And then for the crown of ages, one open socket, 21 DR. Or, excuse me, 21 all res, 11 DR, one open socket. 26 all res, 11 DR, two open sockets. And 25 all res, 12 DR, one open socket. So three crown of ages, at least one of them rolled two open sockets. Now the big boy items, unique Catasius and two unique dimensional shards. One of them is ethereal. So start off with the Catasius, Astrian. So this rolls three to four combat skills. I don't know off the top of my head the rest of the rolls, uh, but it's very difficult and rare to find. I still have yet to find, actually drop this item. The Fathom, this one rolls 20 to 40 or no, excuse me, 15 to 40 cold damage. It always rolls 20 FCR. Then it rolls 20 to 40 lightning and 20 to 40 fire res. So 26 cold damage is pretty good. Almost close to perfect. The ethereal. 23 cold damage. Very solid. I would honestly use the F just for style points. And the final page, the two big boy items. I have an ethereal cryptic axe. So this is a tomb reaver. That rolls varying ED, varying MF, and varying all res, and also rolls one to three open sockets. I have found two of these in over three years. And if you can get this item to drop three open sockets and you put two Ruby Jewels of Fervor in a Zodron, it is the number one melee weapon for Fury Druid. That's very exciting. And then we have one unique Sacred Armor here. It has the potential to be Tyrael's Might. Let's start off with Tomb Reaver. Oh man, it did it. Crack did it. A three open socket ethereal tomb reaver with a pretty good ED roll, pretty good all res roll, and nearly perfect MF. Congrats, man. That is a huge find. And the sacred armor. This is going to be exciting if it's blue because I've never identified a Tiro's Might before. Although it's not mine, it doesn't count towards my grail, but it is Templar's Might. I can't even identify a Tiro's Might if it's not my own character's save files, man. Feels bad. Well, guys, there you have it. That wraps up today's video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Again, I probably won't do another video of this type because I will be transitioning to Diablo 2 Resurrected shortly when it comes out. But I do hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, let me know in the comment section below if you thought the items were cool or like this style of video. And as always, you could throw a like on it share it and even consider subscribing if you're new to my channel i post new weekly content on youtube and i do stream twice a week on twitch so any follows on twitch or subs on youtube would be amazing other than that guys i hope you have a fan freaking tastic day and i'll catch you on my next video or live stream peace out